guys to Spooky Wednesday YouTube channel, The Spooky Clown on Halloween Night. It was a chilly Halloween evening, and two best friends, Mia and Jake, were getting ready for the most exciting night of the year. They had been looking forward to trick-or-treating all week, planning their costumes and imagining how much candy they would collect. Mia, always full of imagination, decided to dress up as a spooky witch. She wore a tall black hat, a flowing cape, and carried a broomstick. Jake, who loved adventure, was a pirate with a big hat, an eye patch, and a toy sword that he swung playfully in the air. Ready for some candy? Jake asked, grinning. Let's go. Mia replied, already holding her candy bag. The streets were alive with excitement. Children in all kinds of costumes filled the sidewalks, shouting trick or treat, at every door. The decorations on the houses were glowing with carved pumpkins, fake spider webs, and spooky lights. Mia and Jake were thrilled as they moved from house to house, collecting treats and laughing together. Their bags started to get heavy with chocolate bars, lollipops, and candy corn. As the night went on, they wandered further from the busy streets, eager to hit more houses before everyone else took all the good candy. They reached a quieter part of the neighborhood, where the streets were darker and the decorations were fewer. We'll just do a couple more houses and head back, Mia suggested. Yeah, we've almost got enough to last a year. Jake choked, shaking his bag of candy. But as they walked down a particularly dark street, something strange caught their attention. At the far end of the road, under the dim light of a flickering street lamp, stood a clown. The clown wasn't like the ones you'd see at a circus or birthday party. He had a pale white face, black sunken eyes, and a grin that stretched unnaturally wide. His colorful costume was dirty and torn, and his red shoes made soft, deliberate taps on the pavement as he slowly walked toward them. Mia and Jake stopped in their tracks, staring at the strange figure. For a moment, they thought it was just someone in a creepy costume, out for Halloween fun like them. But the longer they watched, the more uneasy they felt. The clown wasn't saying anything. He wasn't laughing, asking for candy, or even walking at a normal pace. He just kept staring at them, his grin fixed in place, moving forward with slow, deliberate steps. Maybe we should turn around, Jake said, his voice low and uncertain. Yeah, let's just head back the other way, Mia agreed, feeling her heart race. They quickly turned around and walked back toward the busier streets. But after a few steps, they heard something that made their skin crawl, the soft tap, tap, tap of the clown's shoes following behind them. Mia glanced over her shoulder. The clown was still there, still smiling, and still walking toward them. But now, he was closer. Much closer. He's following us. Mia whispered urgently. Why would he do that? Jake asked, his voice shaking a little. It's probably just someone trying to scare us. It's Halloween, right? Maybe, Mia said, but her kid told her something was wrong. She could feel the uneasiness growing inside her. Let's just get out of here. They quickened their pace, walking faster, but the clown's footsteps grew louder, keeping the same slow rhythm. Tap, tap, tap. Mia's heart pounded in her chest. The quiet street felt eerily empty now, as if they were the only ones left in the world. They turned down a different street, hoping to lose him. But when they glanced back, the clown had also turned the corner, still following them with that creepy, fixed grin. No matter how fast they walked, the clown kept the same slow, menacing pace, closing the distance without even seeming to try. This is weird, Mia, Jake said, now sounding truly scared. We need to hide. Mia spotted a small park up ahead, with an old playground that looked abandoned. Over there, she said, pointing. They ran toward the playground, ducking behind a tall tree, hoping the clown wouldn't see them. They crouched down, trying to catch their breath, their hearts pounding. 
The park was dark, with only the faint glow of a distant streetlight casting shadows over the rusty swings and broken slide. Do you think he saw us? Jake asked, his voice trembling. I don't know, Mia whispered, peeking out from behind the tree. Her stomach flipped when she saw the clown standing at the entrance of the playground. He hadn't stopped following them. His black eyes scanned the area, and his smile stretched even wider. He's here, Mia said, her voice barely audible. The clown slowly entered the playground, his shoes making that same soft tapping sound with every step. He was heading straight for them. Mia and Jake could hear his creepy, high-pitched giggle echoing in the quiet night. We have to move, Jake whispered. We can't stay here. Mia nodded, and they carefully crept around the tree, trying to stay out of sight. They spotted a small, run-down playhouse near the back of the playground. It was old, with peeling paint and a sagging roof, but it looked like it might be a good hiding spot. There. The playhouse, Mia said quietly. They darted toward it, staying low and moving as quickly as they could. Once inside, they crouched down and peeked through the tiny window. The clown was still moving toward them, his movements slow but deliberate, as if he knew exactly where they were. His smile never wavered, and the giggle that came from his mouth was soft but sinister. What does he want? Jake asked, his voice shaking. I don't know, Mia replied, trying to think. But he's not just someone in a costume. There's something wrong about him. The clown stopped walking. He was standing in the middle of the playground now, staring directly at the playhouse. His eyes seemed to lock onto the window where Mia and Jake were hiding. Mia held her breath, her heart pounding so loudly she was sure the clown could hear it. She watched in horror as the clown reached into his pocket and pulled out a shiny black balloon. He let it go, and the balloon floated silently into the air, rising above the playground and disappearing into the night sky. Just as they thought he might leave, the playhouse door creaked open on its own. Mia and Jake froze, terrified. The clown hadn't touched the door, but it had opened anyway, as if something was inviting him inside. The clown took a step forward, then another, his grin stretching wider, his eyes gleaming in the darkness. We need to get out of here, Mia whispered urgently. But where can we go? Jake asked, panic rising in his voice. Mia's eyes darted around the playhouse until she spotted a small window at the back. It was just big enough for them to squeeze through. Through the window. Come on. Mia said, crawling toward it. Jake followed, and they carefully climbed out of the window, dropping to the ground on the other side. They didn't stop to look back. They ran as fast as they could, their feet pounding the pavement, their breath coming in sharp gasps. They didn't know where they were going. All they knew was that they needed to get away from the clown. After what felt like forever, they finally reached a street where other kids and parents were still trick-or-treating. There were lights and people, safety. Mia and Jake stopped, gasping for breath, and looked around. The clown was gone. He's, he's not here anymore, Jake said, trying to catch his breath. Mia looked back toward the dark playground. It was empty. No sign of the clown. But something didn't feel right. She could still feel the chill in the air, the way her skin tingled with unease. Maybe he's gone, Mia said slowly, though she wasn't sure if she believed it. Jake was about to respond when Mia's phone buzzed in her pocket. She pulled it out, thinking it might be her mom checking in. But when she looked at the screen, her blood ran cold. There was no message. Just a picture. A picture of her and Jake. It had been taken only moments ago, as they stood there on the street. But the most terrifying part wasn't that someone had taken the photo. It was that, in the background, just behind them, hidden in the shadows, was the clown. His grin was wide, his black eyes staring right at the camera. Mia's hands trembled as she showed the picture to Jake. 
His face went pale. How did... Who took that? Jake stammered. Before Mia could answer, her phone buzzed again. This time, it was a video. With shaking hands, she pressed play. The screen showed the clown standing in the exact same playground they had just escaped from. He was holding another black balloon, his eyes locked on the camera. Slowly, he raised his hand and waved. Then the screen went black. <laughs> Mia's heart pounded in her chest. The clown wasn't gone. He was still watching them. He knew where they were. Jake stared at the phone, too terrified to speak. What? What do we do? Jake finally asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Mia didn't know. But one thing was certain, the creepy clown wasn't finished with them. And somehow, he would find them again. The end, for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I hope you enjoyed this version of the story. If you ever need another story, or any specific stories, feel free to ask. Enjoy the spooky vibes. Smiling face with smiling eyes.